Hi guys, you're watching Handora, your personal travel explorer. Today it is time to explore a vast observatory built to help and improve upon the studies of time and space. The primary purpose of the observatory was to compile astronomical tables and to predict the times and movements of the sun, moon and the planets. Some of these purposes nowadays would be classified as astronomy. This observatory is known as the Jantar Mantar situated at New Delhi. Come let us explore and understand this old observatory. Jantar Mantar is one of the famous landmark in the modern city of New Delhi. It consists of 13 architectural astronomy instruments. The site is one of the five built by Maharaja Jai Singh II of Jaipur in the year 1724. Maharaja Sawai Jaising was an accomplished scholar himself and was commissioned the task of confirming and rectifying the current data available on the movement of celestial bodies by Emperor Muhammad Shah. Jaising wanted to refine the ancient Islamic Ziz tables so that the exact hour of the day could be determined. Eventually, he wanted to define a precise calendar and make accurate astrological predictions for both individual and social benefit. To achieve this, he built Jantar Mantar in the year 1724 and the observatory in Delhi was the first one to be built. Eventually, other observatories were constructed in Jaipur, Ujjain, Varanasi and Mathura as well. The four distinct instruments within the observatory of Jantar Mantar in New Delhi are the Samrat Yantra, the Jayaprakash Yantra, the Ram Yantra and the Mishra Yantra. Come, let us explore all these Yantras one by one. This is the Samrat Yantra. The Samrat Yantra or Supreme Instrument is a giant triangle that is basically an equal hour sundial. It is 70 feet high, 114 feet long at the base and 10 feet thick. It has a 128 foot long hypotenuse that is parallel to the Earth's axis and points towards the North Pole. On the either side of the triangle is a quadrant with graduations indicating hours, minutes and seconds. At the time of Samrat Yantra's construction, sundials already existed but the Samrat Yantra turned the basic sundial into a precision tool for measuring declination and other related coordinates of various heavenly bodies.
This is the Ram Yantra. These two large cylindrical structures with open top are used to measure the altitude of the stars based on the latitude and the longitude on the earth. These instruments were used to measure the altitude of planets depending on the position of the earth. This could happen with the two giant cylindrical models with open top surface. This is the Mishra Yantra. The Mishra Yantra literally means the mixed instrument. It is a composition of five instruments designed as a tool to determine the shortest and longest days of the year. It could also be used to indicate the exact moment of noon in various cities and locations regardless of their distance from Delhi. The Mishra Yantras were able to indicate when it was known in various cities all over the world and was the only structure in the observatory not invented by Jessing II. The condition of this observatory deteriorated quite a bit by 1867. After ceaseless efforts on the part of the government to restore its former glory, Jantar Mantar is now a popular tourist destination famous all over the country. Other videos on exciting travel locations and monuments are also available on this channel. Do explore these videos and also do like, share and subscribe this channel.